ISIS is a world-class research facility where neutrons and muons are produced to answer some of the most interesting questions in various scientific disciplines, from chemistry, physics, and biology to archaeology. Now, neutron and muon instruments can be thought as very powerful microscopes that allow scientists to look into the insides of matter, and each different instrument and technique is designed to investigate different aspects of a sample, such as how atoms are arranged and how they move. And Looking into the inside of newly developed materials is very crucial to understand them so that we can continue to improve them and also to use the information that we get to design more new materials. This is why neutron and muon facilities such as ISIS play a key role in the hunt for new battery materials. So we are in Target Station 1, or rather the coffee lounge of Target Station 1, and here at the background you can see most of the facility. So we are just going to go in just to talk a little bit more about how neutrons and muons are produced. So this is target station one, where 40 proton pulses are produced every second, 24 hours a day. Now they are directed towards a big piece of tungsten metal that is over there. Because the protons are traveling very fast, they collide with the tungsten target rather violently and this produces neutrons, about 20 neutrons per proton that are traveling at very high speeds. Now, we can't use them like that, so what we normally do is, well, what we have to do is we slow them down first through what we call a moderator. Now, after that, the neutrons fly off to the 17 different instruments, each one specialized for different purposes to study different aspects of matter. Now, before the, the protons collide with uh, the target, they first pass through a piece of carbon, and that process produces particles called muons. And those muons are also directed towards five different muon instruments that we have here that just like neutron instruments are also specialized for different purposes. So this is Polaris. This is one of the neutron instruments that we are using to study the atomic structure of the next generation cathodes that the future cat is developing. So here is where we turn on and off the beam and where we get the key to enter to the sample chamber. So here uh, is where scientists would come in to put their samples or to remove their samples. And if you can see over there, that's where the sample goes. Now, not, not on the top, it goes inside. So that bit over there comes up and then we put the sample in and then it goes down. So neutrons are coming from back there all the way down to there where the sample is inside and then they get scattered by the specific atomic structure of the sample. So they get scattered in different directions. By studying their patterns, we can understand what is the atomic structure of the sample that actually scattered them. So then we need to detect where all the neutrons are landing. So we are going to go down uh, to the detector chamber uh, uh, so I can show you how do we detect all those neutrons that are scattered by the sample. And this is the detector chamber. The sample chamber that I show you, uh, it's over there. And then neutron beam is coming all the way here and it hit the sample back there. Neutrons are scattered and they are detected by all these uh, detectors that are positioned in different, uh, at different angles from, the, from a plane uh, where the sample sits. Uh, so neutrons will come at different at all directions, uh, this way, that way, that way. So that's why we, have to, we need to have a, a, a complete array of detectors that allow us to, to know where they are or where they land in every single direction. So this is the EMU instrument. This is one of the MUON instruments that we are using to study uh, the future cat samples. So here, MUONs come from over there and then they get into the sample over there. They get implanted into the sample. And then after a very short period of time, in the order of uh, two millionths of a second, they decay 
and when they decay, they emit a positively charged particle called a positron that then we can detect and we can analyze to understand how lithium-ion diffusion occurs within the materials that the future cat is developing.